We're hiking the Narrows in Zion right now and I just have to document this because it's probably the funnest hike I've done ever. I'm having the best time. I was nervous because I didn't buy the shoes or the pants for the cold water. But honestly, it's not even that hot outside but the water's not that cold. And it's been so fun. I also really wanted to do this with somebody because I feel like hikes like this are so much more fun. Like, yeah, when you're with somebody, I am having a blast right now. And I'm gonna just be honest, I'm kind of glad I'm by myself because I'm just busting through this because I'm enjoying it. Look at this. There are a lot of people here. Um, and I'm gonna talk more about that later, but this is so fun. The sunshine feels so amazing. And I shouldn't be crossing this holding my phone, but I'm going to um, for right now. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put it away. It's going kind of fast. You can't tell. Here you can. The walking poles are helpful, for sure. Um, I'm glad I wore pants just to help shield the coldness of the water. But even if I was in shorts, I don't think it would have been bad. The tennis shoes are working out pretty good. I feel like if you had sandals with straps on them, they'd be fine. But like, the tennis shoes offer more support. So obviously that's nice. And we're gonna cross through another, I almost called it puddle. It's definitely not a puddle. It's definitely a river. Here it is behind me. And that way. It's so fun. The whole hike here is, <laughs> sorry. The whole hike around is just under nine miles. Not very high in elevation. I think like, I actually think all trails said 600 um, feet of elevation gain. So anyway, okay. These canyons are so cool. And so the time that you're not walking through the water, you're kind of walking through this murky stuff. You could go on the sand or the rocks on the side, but honestly, the mud is easiest because these shoes are slippery on the bottom now from being wet, obviously. Yep. You can't see because of the sun. Oh man. It is. I did that. So we've actually passed the actual ending of the hike, but I'm chilling with some of these people and we've kept going, but this here might be where I at least stop because um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a little much. But look at this. It's so cool. And everyone's just chilling and having fun. I'm taking the first break this whole time. Um, I think I'm probably halfway back, like after turning around, I'm probably halfway back to where we started from. Um, but there's been some cool people on the trail, so it's been fun to chat with them. And I have rocks in my shoes, like little rocks, and they're hurting my feet, but I don't want to take the shoes off and then have to put them back on all wet, but I think I'm going to do it because the rocks are a little painful. Um, but anyway, this is where we're chilling. I'm going to eat a snack, I guess. Um, and just chill in the sun. I wanted to tell you too that I did wipe out. Um, I knew that these shoes were slippery on the bottom, like they've always been slippery even when doing just like regular hiking. And now that it's wet and these rocks are slick, um, I was being, I'm being very careful obviously. And these sticks are so helpful. The poles, I always call them sticks, the poles. Um, but I did wipe out on this rock. I fell just straight on my butt and then I kind of hurt my finger, this middle one, like it's definitely starting to bruise. We'll see, but anyway, um, people are coming. Okay, morale is starting to get low. I'm a little bit tired, and I have no idea how much longer it is back. So yeah, but it's still really beautiful, it's still nice and sunny. 
Um, so a good amount of people out here. I ate a bagel, which I regret right now, but you know. Also, I really have to pee, but there's nowhere to pee out here. And like, there's so many people that like, you just can't pee anywhere like you could if you were in the wilderness somewhere else. It's funny because the first couple times going in the water, like you're hesitant because you're like, oh, it's water, it's cold, like whatever. And now it's just like a water section comes up and it's just like no thought, just trudging through it. Um, it's probably like you walk in the water for like, I don't know, for like 30 seconds and then you have dry land for a minute and that goes back and forth. So you're constantly in the water. It's not just a little bit. This is a start off point where everyone contemplates their decision to do the hike or not. And it just felt so good actually crossing back over here and being done and being like, do it everybody because it's fun. Walking back to the shuttle now. Verdict is that it was so fun. Probably my favorite hike I might have ever done, to be honest. And that is saying a lot. And at this moment I am tired and happy to go back to the van and take off these wet pants and put these wet shoes away. But honestly, that was awesome. And this is pretty much the river that we just walked through. And beautiful views everywhere you look. So I'm just on a little walk here. As you could tell, it's so beautiful. Okay, well, that was just trees, but you know, you feel me, look at this. Anyway, so yesterday was the day that I did Narrows and um, my body is definitely feeling it today. And then I did Angel's Landing today, actually. So anyways, um, it was so fun. I, for some reason, I was just super intimidated about it. And I would say that if you're in Zion, you have to do it. Um, like even number one on your list before Angel's Landing. Um, don't feel intimidated by having to buy the shoes or to rent the shoes and the pants and the walking stick. But the walking stick I think did come in handy for me. So if you have walking poles, you should bring those, I would say. Um, anyway, so I just wanna come back on here and say that. Um, it's been so fun to be here in Zion. Like I've been here for, I guess, technically two and a half days. Um, and I really could just like chill here for longer. But of course there are more places to go, more things I wanna see. So I think I'm gonna, hang out at my camp spot tomorrow, which has been also awesome. Um, and then head out towards Grand Canyon, fingers crossed. Um, I think that's the plan. So anyways, thank you for watching this. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's Heidi's.van and you can see what I'm up to every day. Um, but anyways, yeah, till next time, Zion.